Off the top at 5 o'clock, breaking news in Naples where a jet has crashed and burned on Interstate 75. Florida Highway Patrol says the jet was trying to make an emergency landing but hit a car. And let's get right out down to Local 10's Roy Ramos live on the scene for us at this breaking news. Roy. Well, I just got a chance to speak with Collier County Sheriff deputies who tell me this happened about a mile from where we are standing. We are actually right off of mile marker 105. This all happening off of mile marker 106, and you can see that all the traffic is being diverted off of the northbound lanes of I-75 onto Golden Gate Parkway as crews begin to investigate this crash. I want to show you video that was obtained by drivers on the northbound lanes of I-75 as they were traveling on this uh, roadway here when they saw this plane come crashing down. Obviously, we've covered plane crashes in the past, and it's likely that that plane was attempting to make a landing when this all happened. We can tell you that there were five people aboard, according to the FAA, and uh, judging by the wreckage, judging by the explosions that we have seen in all of that video, it is unlikely that there are any survivors in this, which is very tragic. Um, we did get a chance to uh, hear transmissions from that pilot just moments before this crash happened, and I'll get to that in just a moment. But at first, I want to describe to you uh, what this aircraft was going through today. We do know that it departed from Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport this morning and flew to Ohio, Columbus, then departed from Columbus and was attempting to land here at Naples Municipal Airport when that pilot crashed. Take a listen to these transmissions just moments before that plane came down. Okay, uh, Challenger uh, Hopper Jet 823, lost both engines, emergency. I'm making an emergency landing. Whoever's got that emergency, clear to land runway 23. Is that Hopper Jet 823? Uh, we're clear to land, but we're not going to make the runway. Uh, we've lost both engines. And as we come back out live to that traffic right there, you can hear through that transmission that pilot saying that they have lost both engines of that jet. That jet, we have learned, uh, is being described as a Bombardier Challenger 600 or a Bombardier Challenger 604 flying with the airline Hoppa Jet. We have reached out to that airline to find out exactly what was going on with that aircraft, that information that we are uh, working to gather at this time. As for this investigation, well, we do know that the Florida um, uh, FAA, rather, is now investigating along with the NTSB as soon as we gather new details from them. But the very latest that we can provide you with as far as information is five people were aboard that aircraft. Unfortunately, all five of those people losing their lives. For now, here in Naples, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. And, Roy, we know that's just news to us right now, hearing that five people have lost their lives, five people on board that plane. We also reported earlier at 4 o'clock that the plane hit a car on the highway. Have you learned anything about that? How many people were in that car? If anybody lost their life in the car, what, what have you learned about that? Unfortunately, we've only been able to get uh, to mile marker 105. As you uh, heard me mention, this all happened on mile marker 106. So I am unable to see the wreckage from our vantage point, uh, but we have not received any information, at least not from the FAA, uh, if any vehicles were involved. Obviously, we do know that there are several vehicles that were on the interstate at the time this happened. That plane obviously attempting to land here on the lanes of I-75. So it, it is very likely that that plane may have struck a vehicle. Um, as soon as we gather those details, we'll be sure to let you know. Okay, and did you learn anything new from talking with the Collier County Sheriff's Department at all, or did they just sort of give you the basic details because they too did not know much about what was happening out there? Well, as soon as we arrived here, uh, we asked how close we could actually get to the scene. They said that they were still in the process of putting the flames out on that wreckage. As you probably saw in that cell phone video, that plane up against a wall right next to the interstate uh, walls that uh, we've seen all along uh, the northbound lanes here. Uh, still unsure if that plane crashed into that wall, but obviously uh, those uh, first responders working to um, take care of all of that wreckage, uh, obviously it's not safe for us to get that close. So yeah. that's what those deputies were, were conveying to us, just to keep our distance right now to allow those first responders to do their work. There was also a road ranger who I got a chance to speak with as well, and he's been uh, placing all of these cones right here and diverting traffic onto um, the Golden Gate Parkway exit right here. He tells me that he was on the phone with one of his coworkers who was screaming on the radio saying, 
there's a plane coming down, there's a plane coming down, oh my God, a plane just crashed. And he had to repeat what he had just heard to his colleagues saying, did you just say a plane crashed? Did you just say a plane crashed? And unfortunately, that's exactly what happened. So this obviously very startling for uh, a lot of people. In fact, some drivers passing me by asking me what happened, what happened? I tell them a plane crashed and they, they have this look on their face like they just can't believe it. Uh, despite how many crashes we've covered in the past, it's just very startling to hear this sort of thing. And judging Absolutely. by the size of this plane, we've yes. covered small aircrafts in the past landing on Alligator Alley. This is a, a, an aircraft with two jet engines, yes. a rather large plane, and, and that's likely what, what led up to it bursting into flames. Yeah, it's just um, a, a mystery right now as to why a plane would lose not one, but both engines on this plane. But curiously, on the other side of those no on noise barrier walls there, are there homes over there or no? Not a neighborhood? Uh, to Where my right side, yeah. there are some homes here. In fact, uh, Donnie, if you want to pan over, uh, there are homes that are on the side of the interstate. Yeah, without a mm -hmm. doubt, Calvin. I'm not sure necessarily uh, if there were homes near where the plane where crashed, the plane down, but yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, and, and, and we should mention that the reason they put these walls up is for sound barriers for, for homes that are on the other side. So it's very likely that there were homes uh, just adjacent to where that plane ended up crashing. Our Ray Ramos live there on a scene force near that plane crash uh, near Naples. And of course, we'll check back in with you, Roy, as soon as you get any new information. Thanks a lot.